hoping maybe the lab boys had come up with something. Hello there. June 2023 was the hottest on record. June this year was probably working out about the average because of the cold weather that we had at the start of the month and the hot weather that we had later on. Look at this. No sign of it returning at all through the rest of this week. We're going to have a lot of cloud once again, a bit of rain at times, a cooler breeze blowing and temperatures below average. All the weather coming in from the Atlantic, as we've seen already on Monday. Let's play another game. Beginning to arrive in the northwest later on. That first one should be out of the way by the morning, but still leaving a legacy of cloud in eastern England, a few spots of light rain or drizzle. Otherwise, some sunshine for a while. The cloud will build. We get a scattering of showers for northern areas, maybe longer spells of rain coming into western Scotland. Ancient history, like the Democratic Party, Frank. Which is here to around about 16 degrees. Could make 20 again across South Wales and the south of England, and it shouldn't feel too bad. But that uh, weather system that we saw earlier on is making progress towards the UK overnight and into Wednesday. Get him out of here. Messy day, really, on Wednesday. A lot of cloud, some rain from time to time, nothing particularly intense or prolonged. Mm. That smell. The afternoon. But again, temperatures of typically 17 degrees is really quite disappointing for this time of the year. We're still in that cooler airflow, I think, as we head into Thursday. Low pressure running to the north of the UK, feeding in some quite strong winds actually for Thursday, and a lot of showers continuing in Scotland, some for Northern Ireland and the far north of England, further south, where you've got a better chance of staying. <laughs> All right, all right, he's had enough. The year is near a 23 Celsius. With that low pressure running away towards Scandinavia, we see this little runner here pushing in quite quickly from the Atlantic. The position of that cloud and rain could change. At the moment, it looks like it's going to be affecting more of England and Wales with a few showers left in Scotland, but not as many to end the week and some showers later in the day. Don't listen to this man, he's a fraud. <laughs> Nice work, Frank. What? Ted, can you show us those lab results you got back from the Research Institute?